couple of months ago, I did a try it Tuesday at the Smoke Shack and learned how they make those great ribs and brisket. Well, if you like doing your own cooking, you need something to throw on the grill, and that's why there's now the butcher shop next door. And today, I'm going to learn how to carve up one of these babies into some nice, thick steaks to throw on the grill. I can eat that whole thing. Well, this is definitely just a meat lover's dream. We're here at the meat market, which is now affiliated with Smoke Shack, and Paul is the, the head butcher. And there's a, it's interesting learning about beef, because you look in the cabinet and go, oh, that looks like a good steak. This looks like a good steak. But there's a big difference between all of these cuts of meat, right? Correct. Basically, what we have here is we have uh, Peter Ranch Wagyu beef, which is uh, it's related for, to the original Kobe beef back in Japan, and it was imported here to Texas. That's the one that you pay a lot for if you go to a restaurant. Right. This is the one that you see on the very high-end restaurants, um, Michelin-starred restaurants. They love it. And you only get like a, maybe a two or four ounce portion and that's it. This is definitely something you're not going to do a big 24 ounce steak, although I have, but you know. <laughs> so what's the difference between that steak and that steak? What makes them better? Well, this is, it's the genetics of the cow. Basically, this one here is Dean and Peeler, which is very good beef. It's more of a genetic program. They're one of the only ranchers left that actually raise the cow from a calf all the way to dispatch. Most ranchers, they'll they'll buy a, a cow at a certain weight, that mm -hmm. way they don't have to pay okay. to feed it. So, if you want to get a good steak, and there is a technique, you don't just sit there and take, you know, this machete, basically. Right, <laughs> right, basically. And, and just start, you know, hacking off a big hunk and throwing it on the grill. What's the, the technique to carving this? Okay, basically what you want to do is you want to try to get it in one motion, because you don't want there to be any kind of, uh, like a sawing action. Okay. So basically you can start from here, go that way, and then come back. So that way you don't get a lot of lines on there. And now that, looking, comparing the two, somebody might initially go to that and say, oh, that's a nice, deep, red, beautiful steak, and this has all that stuff in there, but that's the good stuff, right? The yeah, marbling? that's that's the intramuscular marbling, and that's what gives the, when you cook that, a lot of that breaks down, and it goes into the protein of the meat, which makes for more of a succulent bite. And also, with the, the uh, Wagyu beef, they've determined that the fat, because everybody else says, don't eat, you know, the, the fat off the meat, that it's almost as good for you as olive oil? Yeah, there's, there's, there's different types of fat. You have your monosaturated, your polysaturated fats. This is part of the good fat. And if you can tell the difference between the color and the fat, this is more yellow, almost butter-like. Mm -hmm. This is because this cow only eats grass and it's finished on grass. And that's kind of what our concept here is at the butcher shop, is that we want to be kind of like a seven-day farmer's market where, you know, you can go to the Pearl on Saturday and Sunday for a couple hours, but we're open 11 to 7, six days a week, noon to 5 on Sundays. And if you look around, a lot of the stuff we have here stocked is local Texas stuff. Let me try my hand very quickly. Right. First of all, away. The steel. So you... Okay. <laughs> Ready? That sharp? Here, go down and then back? Yeah. Okay. Try okay. to do it with force and go through, try to get through half of it on the first cut and then the other half coming okay. back. Here we go. And you need it. Oh, yeah. See, it's a little tougher than it looks, yeah. right? <laughs> but you well, get the hang is, of it. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Ah, it's the meat market right next door to the smoke shack. So get some ribs and then come get the, or vice versa, one of the two. Something like that. So, okay. Pop that baby on the grill.